Prediabetes is a health condition where blood sugar levels are higher than normal, but not high enough yet to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. Approximately 98 million American adults, that means more than one in three, have prediabetes. Of those with prediabetes, more than 80% don't know they have it. Prediabetes puts you at increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. The good news is that, unlike diabetes, prediabetes can be reversed. Follow us through the video to gain more understanding about prediabetes and how to easily reverse this condition. What are the symptoms of prediabetes? Before learning about prevention, we should firstly have some knowledge about the symptoms and the diagnosis of prediabetes. Because prediabetes is an early condition, it is easy to understand that it will show no symptoms at all. If you wait until symptoms appear, it would be most likely that you have progressed to diabetes already. The only way to recognize prediabetes is to have your blood sugar level tested. There are test kits available for home testing at an affordable price, so you don't have to worry so much about coming to the hospital. If you test for blood sugar level, you must not eat for at least 8 hours before the test. The blood sugar level at 100 to 125 mg per deciliter, or 5.6 to 6.9 millimoles per liter, is diagnosed as prediabetes. If you use A1C test or the glycated hemoglobin test, the result of 5.7% to 6.4% is diagnosed as prediabetes. Now after knowing that, the question is how should you know when to get your blood sugar level tested at the moment of prediabetes? To answer that question, let's talk about the risk of having prediabetes. If you have these risk factors, please consider having your blood sugar tested regularly. For easier evaluation, you can take the quiz provided by CDC to identify if you could have prediabetes or not. The link of this quiz is provided in the description. And if you are curious, the risk factors for prediabetes include being overweight, being 45 years old or older, having a parent, brother, or sister with type 2 diabetes, being physically active less than three times a week, ever having gestational diabetes or giving birth to a baby who weighed more than nine pounds, having high blood pressure, having high level of fats in the blood, having polycystic ovary syndrome. Also, it is unclear why, but race and ethnicity are also a risk factor. The groups of high risk are, African Americans, Hispanic slash Latino Americans, American Indians, Pacific Islanders, and Asian Americans. If you have one or two risk factors, you should take the blood test at least annually. If you have three or more risk factors, you should see your doctor. Or at least consider taking the test immediately to check your blood sugar level to diagnose prediabetes early. You may wonder, what are the causes of prediabetes? The mechanism of prediabetes can be explained with insulin, a hormone made by your pancreas. Basically, insulin will take the sugar from the blood to the cells, thus dropping the blood sugar level and fueling the cells. For some reason, the pancreas cannot keep up with the production of insulin, or the cells become resistant to insulin, which will make the blood sugar level rise and set the stage for prediabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes. Now the reasons for the abnormality in insulin production or insulin resistance has not been studied thoroughly, so the exact cause of prediabetes is unclear. But published data showed that genetics and family history, as well as having an unhealthy lifestyle, seem to have a significant impact. How can we reverse prediabetes? Now here is the main thing. How can we possibly reverse prediabetes? Reversing prediabetes isn't as difficult as you think, and certainly not as expensive as medication. You only need to change your lifestyle towards a healthier direction. Here are the methods. 1. Eat a clean diet. A diet high in carbohydrates can cause blood sugar spikes. Incorporate low-fat and low-calorie foods into your diet. These include fruits with complex carbs, vegetables, lean meats, whole grains, and healthy fats like avocado and fish. And remember to stay away from excessive intake of added sugars like sugary beverages, cakes, cookies, candy, etc. 2. Exercise regularly. Exercise can lower your blood sugar by increasing insulin sensitivity. This allows the cells in your body to use insulin more efficiently. 
Ideally, you should have 30 to 60 minutes of moderate physical activity at least five days a week. Losing as little as 5 to 10% of body fat can improve your blood sugar level significantly and help reverse pre-diabetes. 3. Stop smoking because smoking can contribute to insulin resistance and higher blood sugar levels. 4. Drink more water because staying hydrated can help regulate blood sugar levels. Now, if you find it challenging and you cannot do it alone, don't worry because there are plenty of organizations that will help you overcome this. You can go to the gym and simply ask for a weight loss program as well as diet tips. You can go see a doctor or a dietitian if you have trouble balancing your own meal. In some places, there is even a full package provided for the prevention of diabetes like the CDC National Diabetes Prevention Program or the NHS Diabetes Prevention Program, which is usually available via local healthcare services. To conclude it all, Prediabetes is a critical health condition where blood sugar levels are elevated but not yet high enough to be diagnosed as type 2 diabetes. It serves as a warning sign, urging individuals to take preventive measures. Early intervention and lifestyle changes can significantly reduce the risk of prediabetes developing into full-blown diabetes, which will save you from tons of trouble physically, mentally, and economically. That should be the end of today's video. Hope it will bring you some helpful information. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to type it down below. And if you want to know more about health-related info, please consider subscribing to the channel. We appreciate it very much. Thank you for your attention and bye for now. The information provided on this channel is for general informational and educational purposes only and is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment.